Dear friends, once again, I hope you're all staying safe in these challenging times. Welcome to episode two of the FinTech Capsule Explainer Series, where I try to explain in simple terms some of the key concepts that you need to know on the future of finance and money. Today, I'll answer the question, how does Bitcoin actually work? Here we go. As explained in the last video, Bitcoin was a revolutionary idea. For the first time in the history of money, it allowed for payments to be sent directly from one person to another without going through an intermediary like a bank. This was achieved by combining a number of technologies, from asymmetric cryptography and private and public keys to hash functions and algorithms. This may sound complicated, but can be easily explained. To start, we need to understand that when I send you one Bitcoin, this transaction is public. Everyone can see a set of numbers, which is my public address, sending that Bitcoin to another set of numbers, your public address. All these transactions are recorded by what we call nodes, which are kind of the digital accountants or bookkeepers of the Bitcoin network. There are many thousands of such nodes out there. Every 10 minutes or so, the entire network of nodes syncs up. But to make sure everyone's records say the same thing, you still need a kind of auditor, someone to make sure there's one version of all the transactions that everyone will follow. In the Bitcoin world, that auditor is known as the miner. Every time the network syncs up, one person or entity gets to become the miner. They establish the official accounts of who did what over the past 10 minutes. When they put that record in place, it creates what's known as a block, which is the equivalent of the audited financials for the entire Bitcoin system covering the past 10 minutes. The miner even gets a little reward, some bonus Bitcoins for helping the system run. The beauty of the Bitcoin blockchain is that anyone can become a miner. It comes down to a game of chance that we call proof of work or Bitcoin mining. It's a mathematical process as a bit like rolling a pair of dice and trying to get a double six. The first person to get it gets to be the miner for that 10 minute block. The process now is very competitive. There are mining machines in the market that let you roll the dice 50 trillion times a second to try to win the game and be the miner. So every 10 minutes you get a new block and each one of the blocks is added on top of the other like my kids Legos. That's the name blockchain. And each block includes a sort of compressed image file of all the previous blocks, what we call a hash. So that new block is linked to the entire history of Bitcoin transactions. This makes the process very secure, very transparent, and nearly impossible to reverse. Fun fact, Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, never used the word blockchain in his original white paper. He used terms like chains of block or blocks are chain. The word blockchain was actually popularized by the media around 2015. Now, Bitcoin has still a number of problems, from scalability and speed to the large amount of electricity that the Bitcoin mining requires, and that has a substantial impact on the environment. Want to know more about that? I'll explain it in my next video. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. If there are any questions you want me to answer in these videos, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'll try to cover them as soon as I can. Again, please stay safe, stay home, and see you soon. <laughs> oh boy. Oof.